All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for joining us uh, for this Friday, uh, March 11th for morning prayer, right to. Um, this is part of the uh, ministry that we have here at the church that Ian Anderson helps to lead. And um, it's daily prayer. And it's a wonderful uh, expression of our faith. Um, and certainly a great practice during this season of Lent. I am David Dixon, the Director of Youth and Family Ministries, and it is always uh, a pleasure for me to be able to participate uh, in morning prayer with everyone. So with that said, we will go ahead and get started this morning. <clears throat> Jesus said, if anyone will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation, and so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him. Let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts, confess our sins that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Continuing with Psalm 95. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Harden not your hearts as your forebears did in the wilderness at Meribah and on the day at Massa when they tempted me. They put me to the test, though they had seen my works. Forty years long, I detested that generation and said, this people are wayward in their hearts. They do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. And continuing with Psalms 40 and 54. I waited patiently upon the Lord. He stooped to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the desolate pit, out of the mire and clay. 
He set my feet upon a high cliff and made my footing sure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and stand in awe and put their trust in the Lord. Happy are they who trust in the Lord. They do not resort to evil spirits or turn to false gods. Great things are they that you have done, O Lord, my God. How great your wonders and your plans for us. There is none who can be compared with you. Oh, that I could make them known and tell them, but they are more than I can count. In sacrifice and offering, you take no pleasure. You have given me ears to hear you. Burnt offerings and sin offering you have not required. And so I said, behold, I come. In the roll of the book, it is written concerning me. I love to do your will, O oh my God. Your law is deep in my heart. I proclaimed righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips, and that, O oh Lord, you know. Your righteousness have I not hidden in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your deliverance. I have not concealed your love and faithfulness from the great congregation. You are the Lord. Do not withhold your compassion from me. Let your love and your faithfulness keep me safe forever. For innumerable troubles have crowded upon me. My sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more in number than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and altogether dismayed who seek after my life to destroy it. Let them draw back and be disgraced to take pleasure in my misfortune. Let those who say, aha, and gloat over me be confounded because they are ashamed. Let all who seek you rejoice in you and be glad. Let those who love your, it's your salvation continually say, great is the Lord. Though I am poor and afflicted, the Lord will have regard for me. You are my helper and my deliverer. Do not tarry, O oh my God. Save me, O oh God, by your name. In your might, defend my cause. Hear my prayer, O oh God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For the arrogant have risen up against me, and the ruthless have sought my life. Those who have no regard for God. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who sustains my life. Render evil to those who spy on me. In your faithfulness, destroy them. I will offer you a free will sacrifice and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you have rescued me from every trouble. And my eye has seen the ruin of my foes. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Genesis. Sometime after this, the cupbearer of the king of Egypt and his baker offended their lord, the king of Egypt. Pharaoh was angry with his two officers, the chief cupbearer and the chief baker, and he put them in custody in the house of the captain of the guard, in the prison where Joseph was confined. The captain of the guard charged Joseph with them, and he waited on them, and they continued for some time in custody. One night, they both dreamed, the cupbearer and the baker of the king of Egypt, who were confined in the prison, each his own dream and each dream with its own meaning. When Joseph came to them in the morning, he saw that they were troubled. So he asked Pharaoh's officers who were with him in custody in his master's house 
Why are your faces downcast today? They said to him, we have had dreams and there is no one to interpret them. And Joseph said to them, do not interpretations belong to God? Please tell them to me. So the chief cupbearer told his dream to Joseph and said to him, in my dream, there was a vine before me and on the vine, there were three branches. As soon as it budded, its blossoms came out and the clusters ripened into grapes. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup and placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. Then Joseph said to him, this is its interpretation. The three branches are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you to your office, and you shall place Pharaoh's cup in his hand just as you used to do when you were his cupbearer. But remember me when it is well with you. Please do me the kindness to make mention of me to Pharaoh. And so get me out of this place. For in fact, I was stolen out of the land of the Hebrews. And here also I have done nothing that they should have put me into the dungeon. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was favorable, he said to Joseph, I also had a dream. There were three cake baskets on my head, and in the uppermost basket, there were all sorts of baked food for Pharaoh, but the birds were eating it out of the basket on my head. And Joseph answered, this is its interpretation. The three baskets are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head from you and hang you on a pole, and the birds will eat the flesh from you. On the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, he made a feast for all his servants and lifted up the head of the chief cupbearer and the head of the chief baker among his servants. He restored the chief cupbearer to his cupbearing, and he placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. But the chief baker he hanged, just as Joseph had interpreted to them. Yet the chief cupbearer did not remember Joseph, but forgot him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Continuing with a song of penitence. O Lord and ruler of the hosts of heaven, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of all their righteous offspring, you made the heavens and the earth with all their vast array, all things quake with fear at your presence. They tremble because of your power, but your merciful promise is beyond all measure. It surpasses all that our minds can fathom. O oh Lord, you are full of compassion, long-suffering, and abounding in mercy. You hold back your hand. You do not punish as we deserve. In your great goodness, Lord, you have promised forgiveness to sinners that they may repent of their sin and be saved. And now, O Lord, I bend the knee of my heart and make my appeal sure of your gracious goodness. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I know my wickedness only too well. Therefore, I make this prayer to you. Forgive me, Lord, forgive me. Do not let my, me perish in my sin, nor condemn me to the depths of the earth. For you, O Lord, are the God of those who repent, and in me you will show forth your goodness. Unworthy as I am, you will save me in accordance with your great mercy, and I will praise you without ceasing all the days of my life. For all the power of heaven sing your praises, and yours is the glory to ages of ages. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Mark. Jesus went out again beside the lake. The whole crowd gathered around him, and he taught them. As he was walking along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were also sitting with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. 
When the scribes of the Pharisees saw that he was sitting with sinners and tax collectors, they said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard this, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. Now John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting, and people came and said to him, Why do John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus said to them, The wedding guests cannot fast while the bridegroom is with them, can they? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old cloak. Otherwise, the patch pulls away from it, the new from the old, and a worse tear is made. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is lost, and so are the skins. But one puts new wine into fresh wineskins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Continuing with a song to the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so, to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. And now let us confess our faith together in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Continuing with Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, Keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted by Satan, come quickly to help us who are assaulted by many temptations, and as you know the weaknesses of each of us, let each one find you mighty to save. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you, and then use us, we pray, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Kimberley and Kuraman, South Africa, the Right Reverend Oswald Schwartz Bishop, and the Diocese of Kilmore, Elfin, and Ardag, Ireland, the Right Reverend Farron Glenfield Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and the Episcopal Church, the Most Reverend Michael B. Curry, Presiding Bishop and Primate. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Amanda, Brian and family, Dale Ann, Howard, Catherine, Kimberly, Melissa, Philip, Susan and Charles, Allison, Diane, Audrey, Cliff, Rob, Edward and Kate and family, Jane, Roger, Sally and family, Richard, Phil, Keith, Harold, Patricia, Grace, Les, Karen, George, Bob's family, Wendy, Bob and Joe Etta, Leah and Kayla, Peter and Mirabel, Rick, Ray, Bunny, and Allie. We pray also today for ministries of current activity, remembering especially Good Shepherd's Linton Outreach Project, that a new dedicated kindergarten building may be built to enhance the mission of Bon Samaritan School in Bondo, Haiti, and Church on the Green, that Good Shepherd's members may worship twice a month in a casual outdoor setting, this week focusing on St. Patrick. Almighty and everlasting God, make our parish of Good Shepherd truly a community of prayer and belonging. Raise up in our midst the resources and leadership which will enable us to act upon what you would have us do in this place and in a ministry of love and concern for others. Open my mind and heart to discern what you would have me do. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And at this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. And yes, we lift up prayer for the people of Ukraine, those in the path of war and all refugees. Pray for the people of the countries accommodating the Ukrainian refugees and give us all grace to help in any way we can. We also pray for uh, Letty's friend, Helen, who is to undergo breast cancer surgery. We lift up in prayer all those that will be traveling 
uh, next week for spring break, our students and their families and teachers, uh, that they will be kept safe in their travelings and that they will enjoy a time of uh, rest and relaxation and fun with family and friends. Continuing with the supplication. O Lord, arise, help us, and deliver us for thy name's sake. O God, we have heard with our ears, and our fathers have declared unto us the noble works that thou didst in their days and in the old time before them. O Lord, arise, help us, and deliver us for thy name's sake. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lord, arise, help us, and deliver us for thy name's sake. From our enemies, defend us, O Christ. Graciously behold our afflictions. With pity, behold the sorrows of our hearts. Mercifully forgive the sins of thy people. Favorably, with mercy, hear our prayers. O Son of David, have mercy upon us, both now and ever vouchsafe to hear us, O Christ, graciously hear us, O Christ, graciously hear us, O Lord Christ, and let us pray. We humbly beseech thee, O Father, mercifully to look upon our infirmities, and for the glory of thy name, turn from us all those evils that we most justly have deserved and grant that in all our troubles we may put our whole trust and confidence in thy mercy, and evermore serve thee in holiness and pureness of living, to thy honor and glory, through our only mediator and advocate, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of all hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today for morning prayer. Uh, I pray that you'll have a wonderful rest of the day and a great weekend. And I pray that we can see you on Sunday at one of our services or during the live stream. If not, uh, we pray that you'll have a wonderful week and uh, we hope to see you soon. God bless you. And we will talk later. Bye-bye.